Did tariffs affect the future of flying taxis before they could take off? As we explore the Trump effect on EV toll supply chains, we'll see how rising battery prices and critical shortages of rare earth magnets have disrupted global supply chains and reshaped the EV toll industry. Today, these ripple effects are posing challenges for innovation in urban air mobility. In this video, we'll examine how recent trade policies, including tariffs on Chinese goods, impacted the EV toll supply chain. We'll discuss the rising costs of lithium-ion batteries and delays in sourcing rare earth materials for advanced propulsion systems and avionics, exploring the challenges that manufacturers are still facing today. Understanding the effects of these policies is increasingly important, especially as discussions around new tariffs and reshoring efforts gain attention in the lead-up to the Trump presidency. These decisions could influence the future of urban air mobility and the flying taxi revolution. Stick around to find out what lies ahead for the EV toll industry. Welcome to the channel. During his presidency from 2017 to 2021, Donald Trump's administration placed large tariffs on $250 billion worth of Chinese goods under Section 301 of the Trade Act. These tariffs specifically targeted important EV toll parts, such as lithium-ion batteries, rare earth magnets, and avionics. As a result of these tariffs, the price of lithium-ion batteries, which are crucial for energy storage in EV tolls, increased from $150 per kilowatt hour to $175 to $190 per kilowatt hour. This rise was also driven by growing global demand and higher production costs. Similarly, rare earth magnets, essential for efficient electric motors, saw increased costs due to supply chain disruptions. These tariffs are a major hurdle for new technologies like EV tolls, where profit margins are already slim," said Paul Saunders, senior editor at Bloomberg, in a 2019 report. The U.S. relies on China for over 80% of its rare earth materials, showing how fragile these supply chains are. During the trade war, China suggested it might limit rare earth exports, which could severely impact industries that depend on these materials. In response, the U.S. Department of Defense invested $30 million in 2019 to boost domestic rare earth production. While this was a positive step toward reducing reliance on China, scaling up these efforts remains difficult due to environmental regulations and gaps in refining technology. Cost increases from tariffs, along with high research and development costs and technical challenges, not only affected supply chains, but also slowed down investments in safety innovations. Lithium-ion batteries, which already have risks like thermal runaway, experience slower progress in developing solid-state alternatives due to financial pressures. Solid-state batteries, known for their potential for greater safety and energy density, are still in the early stages of development partly because tariffs have limited resources and funding. In 2023, the crash of the vertical aerospace VX4, caused by a failure in the adhesive bond of a propeller blade, highlighted the need for stronger component designs. Rising costs have delayed the use of advanced crash-resistant materials, leaving manufacturers at risk for similar accidents. The use of high-quality materials is crucial for safety, but cost pressures make it harder for companies to invest in innovative designs said Dr. Emily Cartwright, a senior researcher at the UK Air Accidents Investigation Branch, in an official statement. Trump's deregulatory policies added to safety risks. The deregulation during his administration slowed down the enforcement of strict FAA and EASA standards. For example, a proposed FAA rule for allowing drone operations beyond the visual line of sight, which could also support EV tall integration, face significant delays, hindering innovation and operational efficiency. China's control over rare earth materials like neodymium and dysprosium, which are essential for EV tall motors, adds more complexity to the situation. During the trade war, China threatened to limit rare earth exports, highlighting the weakness of global supply chains. In a worst-case scenario, such restrictions could cause immediate shortages in the U.S., disrupting important sectors like EV tolls and renewable energy development. Alliances like the Quad, made up of the US, India, Japan, and Australia, are working to diversify supply chains. For example, the Quad nations are looking into joint mining projects and processing facilities for rare earths. However, expanding these efforts to meet demand is still a big challenge. 
In Europe, the Green Deal initiative has led to significant investments in alternatives to rare earths and local battery production hubs. Companies like Northvolt in Sweden are at the forefront of creating sustainable and independent battery manufacturing systems. The US EV tall industry could benefit from similar cooperation with Europe to strengthen supply chain resilience and lessen dependence on China. China's dominance in rare earth production is both an economic and strategic vulnerability, warned James Kennedy, a rare earth policy analyst, during a 2020 congressional hearing. As Donald Trump is set to be sworn in as the 47th President of the United States on January 20th, his emphasis on economic nationalism and new tariffs raises concerns for the EV toll industry. Proposed tariffs of up to 10% on all imports could further strain supply chains. These broad tariffs would raise the costs of importing batteries and rare earth components, pushing manufacturers to speed up efforts to bring production back to the US or find new suppliers. However, reshoring comes with its own challenges. Domestic rare earth mining and processing projects face high startup costs and environmental opposition. For example, setting up a new rare earth processing facility in the US can cost over $200 million and take five to seven years to start operating. Economic nationalism sounds promising, but without strategic scaling, it risks further destabilizing emerging industries like EV tolls, said Dr. Rachel Young, a policy analyst from the Brookings Institution in a recent white paper. Trump's proposal for futuristic freedom cities, which includes investments in EV tolls, shows his administration's focus on advanced air mobility. In a 2023 Agenda 47 speech, Trump highlighted the need for the U.S. to lead the air mobility revolution, stating, Just as the United States led the automotive revolution in the last century, I want to ensure that America, not China, leads this revolution in air mobility. To navigate these challenges, the EV tall industry must adopt proactive strategies to build resilience. First, diversify supply chains. One key approach is to collaborate with quad nations to secure rare earth materials and invest in localized production hubs. This will help reduce dependency on single source suppliers. Collaborate with quad nations to secure rare earths and invest in localized production hubs to reduce dependency on single source suppliers advised Dr. Alan Hughes, a logistics and supply chain expert at the 2023 Global Aviation Forum. Another important strategy is to prioritize safety and innovation. This includes increasing research and development funding for solid state batteries and crash resilient materials. Additionally, leveraging AI-driven predictive maintenance systems can help prevent failures. Increase R&D funding for solid-state batteries and crash-resilient materials while leveraging AI-driven predictive maintenance systems to prevent failures, recommended Professor Sarah Lin, an aviation engineering consultant, in her 2022 study on emerging aviation technologies. Finally, it's crucial to leverage policy support, advocating for targeted tax credits and international agreements that align trade protections with industry growth can create a more favorable environment for development. Advocate for targeted tax credits and international agreements that align trade protections with industry growth, suggested John Martin, an aviation policy advisor, in his 2023 congressional testimony. These strategies not only help mitigate immediate risks, but also position the EV toll sector as a leader in sustainable and resilient innovation. The Trump effect on EV toll supply chains highlights the intersection of trade, innovation, and resilience. Will the industry overcome these challenges, or will geopolitics ground the future of flying taxis? Share your thoughts in the comments below.